evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Candace Burns. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Our top story tonight, Governor Northam has issued a new public health order mandating that students K through 12 wear masks in school. It comes after days of heated debate among school systems. And we have team coverage for you tonight. Our Brendan King will break down what happened at a Henrico school board meeting today ahead of the governor's announcement. But first, we start with our Cameron Thompson. He has the latest on the new school mask mandate. Cameron? Yeah, and Candace, that uh, mandate goes into effect today, and officials say they are expecting full compliance from those who had decided to make masks optional. The new mandate takes effect immediately and comes in the form of a public health order. It states that anyone over the age of two inside a public or private K-12 school must wear a mask. It's important to us that every mitigation strategy that can be reasonably put into place is put into place. VDH's Dr. Lawyer Ferlano says it does not apply to standalone preschools or daycares. She adds there are a variety of reasons behind the order, including many of those in school settings not yet approved for the vaccine. Delta is more contagious than other forms of the virus. The mandate comes after some school divisions opted to make masks optional. The governor, Ralph Northam, had said a new state law required they follow CDC guidelines, which calls for universal masking. The order just helps reinforce and require that this very simple step is in place to protect kids and teachers. However, the bill's Republican sponsor says the law was meant to give localities flexibility. The variety of solutions we've seen is evidence that different sizes fit different places. So I disagree with the principle of a statewide mandate. Like previous health orders, this one does contain exemptions to the mandate for things like eating, exercising, or trouble breathing. One difference, however, is medical exemptions. Previous orders said people wouldn't have to prove or even name their condition. This order does not contain that language, but says those seeking medical or religious exemptions, quote, may request a reasonable accommodation, end quote. My understanding is that that would be handled procedurally at a local level. Now, the order will stay in place until it is rescinded or the CDC updates its guidance. Those who don't comply could face a class one misdemeanor. But again, officials expecting everyone to comply among the two districts in our area that voted for optional masks. Prince George put out a statement saying they will comply and require masks at the start of the school year. While Hanover County acknowledged the mandate, mentioned that they complied with the last one, but says they ask for patience as they work through the details of this new order and we'll share specifics soon.